Harry's Wife, Part 105.2.1 The Sussex Series She Dumps Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Having explained to you what disengagement is and who is impacted by it, we then need to turn to the next consideration with regard to this potential scenario involving Harry's wife and Prince Harry to ask what might make her disengage from him. What causes her to say, Prince of Pink Pancakes, I don't want those pods any longer, you're out. What causes her to say, I'm going to find my authentic self and it's not with you, Ginger? What might prompt that? What brings about that scenario? Well, when it comes to a narcissist, we're able to determine the factors that will cause that because there are only five that will ever result in disengagement. Disengagement is applicable to tertiary, secondary and primary sources. Here, of course, it's applicable only to Harry as the intimate partner primary source. If you want to understand in greater detail what the five disengagement triggers are, so that you can extend your knowledge about narcissism, you need to go and watch my excellent video, The Five Reasons the Narcissist Leaves You, as I set out those five triggers in detail. But briefly, they are as follows. The narcissist trades you. The narcissist has been having an affair behind your back, and that person has come to fruition. The fruit is ripe, and they're brought in and you're swapped out. The second instance is where the victim causes extensive wounding to the narcissist. The third instance is where the victim causes massive exposure to the narcissist. The fourth instance is where the victim has broken down. And the fifth instance is essentially the victim has somehow seen through the narcissist, might realize they're dealing with a narcissist, may not, but they've become too difficult to control. The analogy is like an invading force that realizes the insurgency is causing them too many problems in the country, and they basically decide to leave. Those are the only five triggers that will cause a narcissist to disengage from that victim. There are, of course, lots of different outcomes that come within each scenario. So there are lots of different ways that the victim could cause massive exposure or massive wounding or become too difficult to control. So of those five, which might be applicable to the dynamic between Prince Harry and Harry's wife? There are two which I discount as being unlikely. I do not see that he would cause massive wounding to her, and I don't see that he would cause massive exposure to her. The reason being is that at this juncture he doesn't know what he's dealing with, and furthermore, his own emotional thinking wouldn't take him down a route to do this. He's very much, if you will, strapped to her, bound to her, and therefore the type of empathic individual that he is, is unlikely to go down the route of causing massive wounding or massive exposure to Harry's wife. And therefore, I'm going to discount those from the scenario. What does that leave us with? Well, it means that, for instance, he might break down. It may become too much for him. That he becomes unwell. That his potential mental health difficulties come to the fore and that in some shape or form, he isn't able to function any longer. This might, of course, prompt some form of attempted intervention by other people, but in essence, he is broken down, and therefore, whilst he's easy to control because he can't fight back, he becomes an unreliable appliance. He might not be giving any fuel, or what fuel he does provide is minimal in nature. That's no good to the narcissist. His character traits have become dulled and useless, and alongside that, it may well be the case that his residual benefits are no longer attractive. Within the concept of breakdown, there could also be the fact that quite simply he's not serving any useful purpose any longer. So it's not necessarily the case that he might end up going 
gaga and being straight-jacketed, although those are potential outcomes for some victims, that they are ground into the dirt and simply cease to function. But it might be that as a consequence of the way the narcissist has treated the victim, that they are no longer able to provide what they once did because they, for instance, had had their eye taken off the main game. So it might be that a victim loses their job and therefore that means that they can't provide a huge salary any longer and health insurance perhaps associated with that and the status and connections that are all with that and therefore because the narcissist has broken down with regard to losing that job perhaps because they weren't applying themselves to that job as much as they possibly should have done because they were too busy firefighting with the narcissist, the loss of the job and the money and the status and all of the benefits that go with that means that it's in effect as if that, nar uh, that narcissist victim has broken down and therefore they serve no useful purpose. This is a potential possibility for Prince Harry that not only is he at risk of having some kind of mental breakdown as the abuse that he's receiving and being isolated from his family, but it might be that his usefulness becomes much diminished. For instance, if the titles are removed and that there's no financial support of any kind provided, that he has burned through the money that he has inherited, that he doesn't have anything then which is merchantable in terms of attracting people to the Sussex brand. Once upon a time, uh, they were in on it because he was a prince and she was a duchess. But if he loses those things, as a consequence perhaps action by King Charles, then he is in effect broken down and therefore wouldn't prove as attractive to Harry's wife. And therefore, we must keep in mind that one potential disengagement trigger is that Harry breaks down. Either his health suffers, and he suffers a sort of traditional breakdown, if one can describe it that way, or his usefulness as Prince Harry becomes lost for the reasons that I've just explained. Another alternative is that he just becomes too difficult to control. This might be as a consequence of interventions by the family, that they, they start to whisper in his ear and he kind of wakes up to what he's dealing with. He doesn't make a break for the border and escape, but he generally thinks, I don't want to be around this person any longer. I prefer the company of somebody else. It might be that he starts to have a dalliance elsewhere. It could be that whilst he doesn't leave the relationship, he's spending time more with friends. He might decide, I want to go back to Britain and jets off. It might be, for instance, as is rumoured, that he decides that he's going to go and spend time in Portugal with Eugenie. It might be in and around the house that he makes himself scarce, hanging out at the chicken coop, disappearing down the bottom of the garden to smoke a fat one. It might be that he just generally doesn't respond to her the, one, the way that once did, that he's basically become somewhat inured to the way that she has treated him, and he just responds with a shrug, indifference, her shouting and screaming doesn't have him scrambling into action to placate her and model coddle her and appease her as he once did, and now he just th puts his headphones on, gets on his bike and cycles off. So it could be that... As a consequence of the erosion of his emotional empathy for his wife and his strong narcissistic traits coming to the fore, that Harry just becomes too difficult to control and therefore her narcissism looks at it and thinks, we're not getting as much fuel from him, but even if we were, and the residual benefits and the character traits were all there, it's not worth it in terms of the amount of effort we have to put in to try and control him. It's taking a lot to get less out of him. And therefore, ultimately, the narcissism says, not worth doing any longer, jettison, dump him. Remember, the reason that Harry was chosen in the first place was that he was easy to control and that he provided lots of fuel, character traits, and residual benefits. Now, for a period of time, the narcissist will apply effort if control starts to become a little bit difficult, because those prizes of fuel, character traits, and residual benefits are worth still fighting for. But after a while, the narcissism says, look, we can jettison this person and promote somebody else that we're having an affair with, or even go and find somebody else instead to replace this person. They're too much like hard work. The gains have either been reduced, or even if they're still the same, they're just not worth the effort that's required to control this person. So it's a little bit like uh, drilling for oil, in that the oil field may still be plentiful, but is very difficult to get at. Or, and this is more usually the case, the amount of oil that's available has started to become reduced, and it becomes more and more difficult to get to. 
and therefore there's a more attractive oil field that could be drilled elsewhere. So there's a distinct possibility that Harry in effect becomes too difficult to control for the reasons that I've outlined, and therefore that triggers disengagement. The other scenario is there's a trade that basically, as a consequence of the sustained devaluation and as part of it, Harry's wife starts doling out the spicy poontang elsewhere. This also is eminently possible. You undoubtedly have in your mind a range of potential suspects that could be involved in this. What about the shady relationship with Marcus Anderson? What's going on there? Is she cozying up to Elon Musk? Is Bill Gates getting some saucy text messages? Who knows? And of course, all of that is speculation. It could be somebody that we don't even know about. It could be a member of staff, although it's unlikely that they would become necessarily the intimate partner primary source. But there is the possibility, as there always is with the narcissist, that infidelity occurs, and in so doing, the narcissism does this. This person is becoming increasingly easy to control, and their fuel, character traits, and residual benefits are outranking those of the incumbent primary source. And therefore, the narcissism looks at it and says, they're a malfunctioning appliance, this one's shiny and new, and we're getting them under control. It's time to bring them in and crown them as intimate partner primary source, and that means that the incumbent in intimate partner primary source has to be chucked to one side. They're in, you're out. This is quite a common occurrence, and there will be many individuals listening who have experienced that very dynamic. Often, you might not know about the fact that an affair is taking place and the relationship just appears to be have ended and you're given some spurious explanation of it's not you, it's me. And then within a matter of days, you see the narcissist swanning around town with somebody new and you think, goodness me, how did they get that person so quickly? The fact is, they were always in the background and had been for quite some period of time. And therefore, it was very easy for them to then be pushed into the position of intimate partner primary source and the relationship with you has been ended frequently occurs accordingly those are three potential scenarios with harry but which one are we going to go with well luckily for you and I'm, your glorious narrator is spoiling you here i'm going to take you through the scenarios whereby Harry breaks down, stroke is of no longer of any use to her. Then the scenario where he becomes too difficult to control. And then the scenario whereby she has cheated and has got a new paramour and thus bins Harry in order to put in place a new individual. The reason I've chosen to do that is that I see all three outcomes as potential occurrences that would cause her to dump Prince Harry. And therefore, to aid your understanding, I'm going to take you through that so that then, with that being the baseline scenario, what then happens when she dumps him? How will he react? What will he do? How will she continue to treat him thereafter? What happens with regard to unraveling a unconscious coupling, as Paltrow and Martin would once say? How does all of that pan out? And given the possibility that a trade, breakdown, or control issues are likely, I'm going to take you through each scenario. And I'm going to start in the next section with a situation where Harry, to break down, stroke, have no longer any real usefulness and therefore causes disengagement. Join me there. <laughs>